What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're working on the 7 Series. We're going to be finally perfecting at least the wheels. And at the same time, I had my boy Blake come over and he helped me figure out some things. And he diagnosed the issue with my whole AC system. So uh, let's cut into the section where Blake comes in and saves the day. It worked. Cool. I don't want to break it. Hey, look at that. We're at the oh, fuses. A lot more axes, boys. All right. Let's see if we can't find a blown fuse and hopefully... That's an easy fix. If not, we're gonna check like a hundred fuses. So <laughs> we'll probably find some other shit that's broken. Okay, so we're gonna check this module down here. I guess this controls the climate controls. Okay. Oh, bro, that's nasty. So that looks like water intrusion. Here, let me grab the camera. How does that happen? I don't know. That's like, but that does not look good there. Okay. No, let's, that that's let's probably focus. it then, dude. Let's check the other ones too then. Yeah, we'll check the other ones. But look at those pins, guys. That looks nasty. So I bet that like shorted out somehow and then uh, toasted that module. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, there's a little bit of junk in here. Maybe someone power washed the inside of the car. Imagine, dude. I've seen videos like that, but like, I couldn't imagine if it actually did that. Yep. Uh, so the top looks good. So, dude, yeah, I think that's gonna be the. I think that's a hundred percent gonna be the issue right there. So the pins here look pretty nasty. So these connectors actually come apart if you just take like a screwdriver or something flat. If you guys ever look at these, um, they can kind of come apart, which is pretty cool actually. And this side comes apart too. I need too. to probably get that thing so we can deep pin it. Yeah. So what we we'll want to do is clean this up. And get okay. that looking good and then you can see this pin right here oh dude that's like oh no shit the pin is in it even so it melted off it melted a pin off right uh, there it's stabbed inside oh and then, so is this thing broken or yeah this so broken? this is broken but this has an extra pin in where the pin slides so that's no bueno so it uh it like basically corroded off all right well then we need to clean that up and then so, we just need yeah. to get a new module there clean this up get that pin out and then get a new module should be good to go Cool, cool. Sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Guys, he literally just pulled the pin out. Of <laughs> so look at that. I don't know if you see that, but we pull, I pulled the pin out of that. So that's nasty. That's the pin that's supposed to be on that circuit board. So that's obviously screwed. And then all I did was just pull the pin out of the actual circuit, like connector. So you just put a screwdriver like on the side. This is a giant screwdriver. A small one would be better. <laughs> we have more idea. But we're kind of lazy right now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get a good one. That's <laughs> who needs that. But you just kind of press on it. Of course, when the camera's on, it's harder. And then you pull it out. You can deep pan like that. Okay. So that's like taking that whole thing apart. So if you guys ever want to do that, just kind of look at all the BMW connectors because they're actually really nice and they come apart. And you can you can redo stuff without even like splicing stuff a lot of the time. Perfect. So, so rip that out. So we're just gonna like clean up all these connectors, get all this little corrosion out of there. And get to go. Module and good to go. I don't know why the hell it got, it looks like it got wet. I mean, everything in there looks just dirty. I don't know what happened. Yeah, dude. It looks like someone just was like, <sighs> just like sprayed this thing or something. Who knows? The previous owner of this car. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Like this thing has so many issues. It's not even funny. Oh, I know. I've seen the list. <laughs> it just, it used to keep scrolling on the thing. And it, 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 that happened when I was in the car because it was working when I got the car. So that must have just corroded over time. Yeah. And I guess I was driving it a lot. Maybe it kept on yeah, like. So I think the pin, like, it probably is corroded. And then the pin finally just gave way. Okay, cool, cool. So we're going to have to get a new module here. All right, let's get some stuff and just clean this stuff up. Today's video, the 7 Series, is getting a lot of love. So finally, these ugly, ugly wheels and tires, they're all about to get reconditioned. New tires, new wheels, basically, a new life. Um, I have new center caps, so we're actually going to be throwing on some new center caps after this as well. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and sand down the entire wheel and paint it all. It has a lot of plastic dip on here, especially the front. The front has so much plastic dip. The front bumper has still not been repaired or done. We haven't done anything to the front bumper yet, but uh, we are missing the wheel guards. And uh, again, this car, we are fully restoring you guys. I'm not even skipping out on anything. The transmission, we are ordering so many parts to fix the transmission. I want zero lights on this car. We we are fixing this car a hundred percent. The previous owner left us with probably ten thousand dollars worth of damage on this car, and we're gonna fully restore it and just make it look like an absolute beast. Make this 740 Li the absolute beast it's supposed to be. And it's an N54, and it should have been treated a lot better. All that being said, so we are working on all that stuff. But yeah, guys, on top of painting and cleaning up all the wheels and just restoring all the wheels, what we also ended up doing is that I went down to pick a pole and I found a 
740, 750LI and uh, we picked up so many good parts for this car and also uh, for some of you guys that have 7 Series that want cheap parts. I'm actually going to be putting up on my website, link down below. If you guys want to get some cheap parts for your 740 or 750, it even works with some other cars like this thing, can work with any BMW. Everything here is going to be sold super cheap and will be some merch will be also included with this stuff because you guys are supporting the channel, supporting the build. But yeah, your boy got both weather guards. It was such a pain to pull off that pick and pull. But we did get both wheel guards fully complete here. I got an engine cover that we're actually gonna be putting up in our new shop. So I mean, our, 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 our garage, I think it's gonna look super cool. I got the navigation system, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I mean, I didn't really need it, but I mean, hey, I, I mean, navigation, for I, I got it for a pretty good deal. Again, I give it to one of you guys for a good deal if your navigation shot. I got these vents for our sevens here because our vents are pretty much shot. So we got some new vents, new push button start, trim right here, uh, new iDrive controller. This one looks like in way better shape, the original iDrive controller. New buttons here, it looks in really good shape as well this is a new trim piece that ours i don't know if you guys can see little details matter guys we got an oem bmw floor mat which we definitely need for ours we got a sport steering wheel sport airbag tail lights a little climate control right here i got the side view camera this alone is like a hundred dollars i'm super happy about that i got run rear bumper sensor and then we also got this bad boy right here so this seven series we got pretty much everything we need to fully restore and that's what we're going to do on this channel guys special guest on this channel for today my boy johnny <laughs> so Jonathan, you've been painting wheels these past couple days. Painting wheels. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sets of wheels. So uh, I needed, for me, I suck at painting wheels. Every time I paint my wheels, I get like the, all these like, uh, what's it called? Like the- Strips or whatever. Yeah, it just looks terrible. Or like I pretty much end up missing one side of the wheel. And I don't know, like I try my best, but it always ends up looking like poop. And on top of that, our tires are super ugly and muddy and disgusting looking. Even this one, especially the fronts are just in terrible shape. Uh, the goal is to pretty much clean off these tires, make them look awesome, which do you know how to do? Yeah. So that's gonna be awesome. And then obviously sanding down the rim, getting all this plastic dip off and just cleaning it up. We also have new center caps, so that's gonna look a lot better. <laughs> they look kinda rough. Yeah, they are pretty rough. So again, guys, goal of this video is to resource as much stuff as possible. Uh, with the front bumper video, we're obviously gonna be doing the fender liner and all that stuff. But as for this video, let's go ahead and just work and focus on the wheels. Just know that we have so many more things coming in to fully restore this car. But yeah, meantime, our carpet has so many stains. It just looks at absolute terrible condition. So let's go ahead and pull it out and put it on our new carpet. So uh, three, two, one. And here is the after, guys. So actually, there are a few stains, but ultimately, this is in a lot better condition um, than the other one. So I'm super happy about this. I mean, it honestly looks so much better already, guys. Anywho, I'm um, we'll going to install these parts away. We're not, not the primary focus of today's video, uh, but if you guys do want any of these parts, they are going to be listed on my website either tonight or tomorrow night. Or if you guys already want this before they're listed, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. And the main things I'm keeping for this car is going to be this piece right here, the wheel guards, uh, the air vents. I think maybe this iDrive controller, maybe not. That might be on the website i'm not sure tail lights i obviously don't need them but i'm gonna be selling a super cheap to you guys just to support the build and at the same time giving you all a good deal the camera i don't need it so again if you guys need a side view camera the m sport airbag i'm not too sure if i'm gonna be putting it in this car maybe another build because this also fits in f10 m5 or some any other builds that we end up getting in a 5 series 7 series even a 6 series so i might be keeping that for another build we'll see we'll see or i might be throwing it in this one we'll have to see guys and then obviously if you guys need a uh, navigation system this is the complete unit without further ado let's go ahead and set you guys up and get off uh, these four wheels guys so I went ahead and put some uh, cards around the rim of the wheel um, so now this should protect the tire from getting any paint on it so I'm gonna go ahead and do right now I'm gonna go ahead and use some flat gray primer for this part of the wheel and then I'm gonna probably do like two coats on this part 
and then I'll go ahead and grab this glass black and go ahead and spray that on here as well. Probably like three or four coats, to be honest, so that it actually get coats properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Black wheel, guys. Let's go ahead and throw on these new center emblems. Bada bing, bada bang. Now these wheels are do have a lot of curb ash on them. This obviously isn't really like the best way to do it, but it's better than plastic. And this actually has real clear coat, real primer. This paint's actually gonna stay on the wheel. And this black just looks so much better with the new emblem. Look, look at that. That looks so much better than whatever the heck this is. I cannot wait till all four of them looking like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just knock out the rest of this and I'll come back to you guys when it's all done because uh, we're running out of daylight, it's already five. We're about to lose sunlight about 15 minutes. Um, so let me go ahead and knock this all out and probably catch you guys tomorrow morning. <clears throat> and like I promised you guys, this is the next day. Finally, we have some black wheels on the car. Now they don't look absolutely perfect, but they look 10 times better than they were. Finally have the new emblems on there as well. So the only thing that's super, super, super dirty is those wheel guards. Once we put in the other wheel guards, I'm gonna take off the wheel. I'm gonna detail the inner wheel guard. Just make it all super clean. We're also gonna do a shine on the tire as well. Again, we want this car to be absolutely perfect by the time we're done with it, fully murdered out. But I'm super, super, super happy with how the car sits right now. It is looking so much better. This front bumper is getting done soon. Yeah, it just, I had to order so many parts, like this little piece here, the fog light, the grill, those two grills. Like there's so many things that need to come in, even these little side things. So that's why I haven't actually gotten started on the front bumper yet. But we did get in the BMW emblem. So finally we have the rear emblem, the full size one. Let's go ahead and just throw that on. I'm sure it's gonna make the car look so much better. Bada bing, bada bang, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this car is coming together slowly but surely. For the next video, guys, we should be able to fully wrap the front bumper and get in this little side. Um, everything we pretty much need for the front end of the car. I'm gonna hopefully start cleaning it all and tint out all the windows. Like the next video is gonna be literally me completing the car. Um, in this video, I just really want to get the wheels done. It literally took us an entire day yesterday just to work on the wheels, and then I just wanted to finish off a few little other touches. But yeah, guys, this car is super, super, super close to be fully blacked out. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, stay tuned for the truck build, and we're getting another BMW you build very 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 soon without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out